I'm back working on uh, my cubbies here, putting some finishing touches on them. So if you recall from my last video, I showed you how the trim is going to come down. So I'm going to need like a plate down at the bottom. Uh, that's what that white piece is. It's uh, not inserted all the way in yet. I just wanted to fit it. Um, but again, there will be baseboard going along the bottom and then trim around everything. So I need to make a bunch of cuts to fill in the bottoms down here. And that's what I'm working on now. And I figure all my videos so far, I'm just kind of showing you what I've done after the fact. So I'm going to attempt to uh, give a little bit of action photo here. So here are my uh, four plates um, for the sides. I need them 14 and a quarter wide, which I did those cuts already. Those are the squares. And the height right there is eight and a quarter. I need a total of four of these, uh, one, two, and then on the back side, the same thing. So I'm going to make those cuts now. I'm going to uh, set my iPhone up on the ladder precariously and hopefully it doesn't fall into the sole while I'm taking this video. Okay, so I got my fence set up to eight and a quarter. And uh, <clears throat> I already know I have my 14 and a quarter inch cut. I'm going to double check that, make sure I'm cutting the right side here. So yes, that's my 14 and a quarter. Did that already, so now I'm going to cut my eight and a quarter. And let's see, this is, that side's a little bit beat up. This one looks pretty good. That's very clean, and that's a little beat up, so I want to save this side. So we're going to put that there. So here we go. <laughs> start here we should uh, exercise all kinds of safety precautions so I get a pair of gloves on and I don't know if my face is in this video but my safety goggles are on top of my head and I don't think they're doing too good there okay um, board. And the phone held up, but didn't fall. And there it is. It just stuck it in over there. And then there will be a shelf going across the top. That's why you won't see any of that hardware that's down there, because that'll be up high. And the reason I'm coming off the floor like that is because, remember, I'm going to use this as a control center for um, my immediate uh, equipment. So I need to get power in there. So the power is going to run from there. Drill a hole. See, I already got a, already got a hole drilled there in that 2x6. It'll come right through, and then they'll sit on the bottom. Probably the bottom in the back. But it'll be underneath that shelf. I left a gap to get to wires back there, and I'll have an outlet in there. And I'll be able to get power from both sides. So there's a little demonstration of using my uh, new table saw inexpensive craftsman picked it up the other day on sale for 256 bucks it does the job <laughs> 